How are you all doing, Ralph here, Ralphie Customs? Back on our jocks diner chop. We're going to do some machining, try and sort his front end out. Not try, sort his front end out. Yeah. <laughs> The issue is, well, first of all, there's no nut. There should be like a tube nut that goes in the end of the fork and uh, secures to this, right? So that's not there. Uh, and we've got some spacers, but they're a bit shitter. They're a bit shitter. So I'm considering remaking those in stainless. And this is a sleeve that spaces that spindle out for the right hand fork. But on the left, we've got a speedo drive and a washer and a spacer. And we don't need that. We need to get rid of that. So I need to make a spacer that's as big as all three of those together. And then some knobby cover that we're going to probably lock tight over the top in aluminium um, much like let's just take you back out here much like my speedo delete on my triumph lock down there if you're a regular reader you'll remember me making that so let's have a look so we need to make a tube nut that's got a straight bit that goes over this. I don't know why that's like that and not threaded all the way up. Not got a fucking scooper. I could probably thread it all the way up, but not sure. Might do that. Let me have a think. Um, and it sticks out a bit with something pretty similar to this on the end. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Too flat. So I'll measure that. See what diameter that is. I think it's 25 mil. Is. So we need a bit of 25 mil with a half inch. I've checked the thread, and luckily, that's half inch UNF, half inch 20. So we can get on and do that. We can make a nut. We can decide whether we're going to thread that all the way up, and then we can make a nut that sticks out a bit with two flats on the end to to mirror that. And then we can look at fucking replacing these spaces with something nice. Um, that's buried in the fork, so I'll probably leave that and then just replace the other spacer with a bit of stainless. So plenty of machining, bit of working out to do, and we'll go from there. Okay, as always, we start off by cutting a bit of uh, stock. This is bang on size, this is. So we ain't got to machine the outside up. Well, apart from putting flats on it. There you go. Right now, so, we've got that chucked up. We're just going to face it up to length, so like I say, fortunately we uh, found a bit of material that Bob wants the fucking OD what we need right. this needs to be a bit gnarly isn't it? we do need a lead on it so, and it doesn't matter if we're a little bit over length, to be fair. So let's put this fucking taper on like that. A bit better than that, Ralph. Right? Come on. Yeah. <coughs> Just come in with a file. And this is the inside. We need that taper to get it into the fork. It's quite a firm fit. Um, they've been crushed, the, the big hole at the end of the fork has been crushed shut a bit. I might take the bolts out and get something in there to lever it open a little bit, but I don't want to fuck about with it too much, to be fair. Right, so, I'm going with the centre drill. You can see there's already uh, evidence of 
a hole in the end of there, but we'll just disregard that. The end of the sensor is looking a bit black. So some flights got it a bit hot at some stage, that'll be me. Anyway, we'll start a fresh sensor like that. And we'll come in with a half inch UNC tapping size, which just so happens to be 11.5, well 11.4 to be uh, pedantic but 11.5 is absolutely bob on so I'm going to run this lovely sharp 11.5 drill bit through all the way I'm going to lose that up I don't want to knuckle it up I don't want the stainless playing silly buggers now do we so I'll get that run through and then uh, we need to open this out to 15 mil to clear the end of the spindle or get the spindle in here and fucking machine it down to half inch all the way half inch you and see all the way which I'm really tempted to do to be fair we'll see now fuck it we're going to bore it out we're going to fucking check it out 20 mil deep it's 14 so oh, not with that drill bit hold on right we've had a visit to the grinding wheel so, <coughs> let's see how it fucking behaves now. Fingers crossed. And if it don't work out, I'll be deleting this clip. <laughs> it's fine, absolutely fine. Right, we need to take that. Let's just check. I'm on 10 on my graduation, on my slide. Get the edge of the doodah up. We want a good 20 mil. Take that out nice and steady. There's 10 mil. And so on and so forth. So I'll take that down to 20. And that should do us for the spindle. There we go. So now we just need to break that edge. Like that. That's that end done. We can take it out, spin it around. And look at threading it half inch UNC, so just get that out. Ooh, ooh, fucking hot, who'd have thought? Hey. We'll give a counter bore on there. And uh we'll speed things up a bit. Just break that edge nicely. And then we'll come in with a counter bore tool. Like so. And we'll just give it good kiss hmm. maybe a bit more eh a bit more of a snob sorted alright nice and slow as she goes let me just move you a little hold on scream if you want to go faster plenty of lube and a bit of a batter sorry about that no I kind of batter let's have this fucking tapped out Ooh, spinning spinning we'll back it out give it a couple of love taps off camera and hopefully it'll behave I'm leaning on it a bit as well pushing the tail stock a bit oh no that's spinning in there look oh dear try again Ralph it I'm going to have to use my hand you know hey all old fashioned like it might help if I went in with a first cut tap instead of a fucking plug tap like, but I thought this would be fine. Come on, you bastard. No. Well, there you go then. So, I'm probably going to have to finish that by hand. Right, that's as far as I can fucking take it. Running the machine. So, I'll unloosen the collet and get in there with it. Tap wrench, bear with it. Just unloosen. You should be able to withdraw. Um, and now I'll get a tap wrench on there and carry on with it. Right, after fucking much huffing and puffing and blowing the house down, I'm very pleased to say that we've got that nut nicely fucking made. We just need a couple of flats on it. And that's one bit done. I won't mention 
<laughs> fuck. The, uh, yeah. That was a bit of a fucking... <laughs> don't force it. If it don't fit, don't force it. But some things take a bit of fucking muscle. I gave that a little bit too much, to be fair. <laughs> Don't forget folks, our Fuckstock stickers are now available in our Etsy store, link in the description below. Fuckstock, you know it makes sense. Right, with that fucking nut made, if you like, with that threaded sleeve made, we need to put a couple of flats on it and I reckon I'm going to come 7mm from the end, look I've made a scribe line. Um, and. I'm going to come in with this cutter and take it down from its current 20mm, no as fuck it is, to 17mm, so that's 3mm off. This is a mill each side, so I'm going to touch off, I'm going to raise the knee by a 60 thou, which is a mill and a half, and I'm going to cut that off up to that line of 7, and then I'm going to leave everything set. And I'm going to spin this fucking collet hold around in the, in the vice, um, I've already lined it up nicely with the edge of the fucking jaws so it's repeatable we'll flip it, we'll machine it again and then we'll have two flats I'm really doing my best not to fucking bitch and moan at you about me fucking cold man <coughs> this uh this stinking fucking cold that I've got is really fucking dri <laughs> driving me fucking nuts right let's do this <laughs> So, with that done, yeah, we can turn our attention to this, to these spacers, fucking hell, look, <laughs> leave that, that needs chucking. Um, we know that one's 54 mil, and these combined at 68, so 25 mil OD, 17 mil clearance for the old spindola, um, and then one at 54 one at 68. I've rubbed the marks off that, but yeah, 68. So, I've just cut a piece. Give it a quick fucking spin up with a bit of embryo, dick embryo, like. Face it off to length, drill it through. That's the plan. And then we need to look at some fucking covery thingy out of some or another E to make that work. All right, let's do it. Now, this is the short one. Which is 54, if I recall correctly. Come uh, on. Get his face off. What I do, I'll face this off. Nice and smooth, like so. Not too worried about the very centre because that's going bye bye. Break that edge. Then we spin it around. Like so. Do the same again. Oh. Yeah. Here we we'll get one smooth cut, like that. Not too bogged about the very centre. That's going bye bye. Create that edge. Here we don't have to sell. And then we can give it a measure. Right. That's 55.6. Yeah. So we want 54. So 1.6 off. We just clamp it back off. And now we're going to do it fucking tight because we don't want it creeping. And then we'll touch up. 1.6 we said, didn't we? So we'll touch on there. Zero and go along accordingly so we'll go 0.8 for the first cut look work that down good bit Cezo look at that fucking bird that's shocking ain't it yeah, you wouldn't have to face that would you leave that bit on not bothered 
Right, another point five. Which is a much nicer cut. We're being a bit greener. We'll have that off. Why not? And now 1.6 is come on. There. So I've been experiencing breakages with these fucking tips. Like within one or two fucking uses, they fucked up. I'm a bit fucking hesitant to go ploughing in like. Anyway, I do I digress. So we'll break that edge. That one's now to size. We'll do the other one at whatever it's supposed to fucking be, I can't remember. Sorry about bagging you. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, thanks for the feedback guys. I think you're right. I think what's going on here is me being a fucking clutch. I'm using a finishing tool to fucking rough out. Whereas I should be using the roughing tool. Hey Max, if you're watching. I should be using fuck off. Just drop that fucking Allen key. <laughs> oh god. Um so hold on a minute, baby. Just nip that one. Is that one? Yeah, I found it. I should be using this one to fuck it up. We're roughing out a gold star fucking one. The gold one is a tougher fucking animal. And then that's a finer fucking it's got more of a sharp edge to it. I finish it, so it's just me being a dick. Okay, fucking go, Kev. Right, so. That's normal. Going with the centre drill. Get things started. Just nibble that out. We don't need any more breakages today, thank you. Especially, being as how we're going to struggle to reach full depth with the 17mm bit that we need to run through. That makes sense. I ain't got a bit long enough. We're going to have to go halfway through, spin it round. Or something similar. But we can get through with the fucking 10mm pilot, right? So that'll do its stuff. We might need to get it over to the grinder. And dress the end up a bit, actually. Look, see, we're getting a bit of ribbon, not fucking curly really. So might give it a tickle up on the stones and then we'll get it punched all the way through and look at taking it out to size right now in with the 17 lots of fucking stringy shit coming off you can't see that but it's all over me here we go again nice and steady we don't want to be welding no 17 mil drill bit to the job today do we that would be uh, be not good so we'll get this worked in and through and probably you aren't it okay so that i turned it round in the end it just just bottomed out and it was fucking nothing just a few millimeters shy of the end and because it's not a precision fit up there like i'm not too fast that's fucking hot though you know what is it fucking hot so Let's uh, have a look. So, that's that on there, look. It don't actually move when it's fitted, but I don't want it welding itself to it or fucking... Shut out, it's still a bit warm. There's a little bit of play, which will be great. How's it compared to the OG? They're a bit stiff, actually. Oh, no, 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 same, same sort of thing. Yeah, so that replaces that little fucking pile. Sorry, bad filming. That replaces that little pile. And that will replace nice stainless instead of that. Not that you see much of it. I'll just do the same with that off camera. Drill it through. Incidentally, I put my pilot drill up well and truly. Going that first one, fucking nearly welded it to the job. But I've ground it back and it's starting to get quite short. <laughs> Bless it. I know the feeling, she said. Right, that's them two fucking done. No drama. So we made the nut. We've made some nice stainless spaces so they don't go rusty and look shit. And we've done um, a long enough one to get rid of this and its accompanying fucking villains. It's villainry. 
what we need to do now is make a vanity piece up, don't we? We need to look like that's got there where the disc used to be. <coughs> yeah, but we're not doing it quite the same. We're doing it for a speedo delete. And this is all on fucking, did you hear that big bang? I don't know what that was. This is all a bit weird, to be fair. I'm probably gonna take this off. Sorry, I'm not filming it, but Take this shit off, get that out, because that's gonna be in my way. And then, what I'm gonna do is make one of them without that bump on. So this sort of contour and that sort of step. Uh, and we will do it 25 mil through and lock tight it to the wheel spacer once it's all in position. So I'm gonna have this off. I'm gonna take this, the dogs out, that fucking ring out that does the speedo drive line. Yeah, because they'll just get in the fucking way. And then we need to find a bit of material where we can alley, alley up one of these, can't we? That's next on the agenda. Right, oh, so with those spaces made, we're now gonna make a fucking speedo drive delete that kind of matches this on this side, only it's gonna be fixed to the wheel spacer, not the wheel, so it won't spin. I did think about making it fit in here, um, but I still might actually. But it's not very. This, this, this is, there's an adapter behind here. Look, a fucking disc adapter thing. You see it bolted on, and it it's not fucking very uh, very good. It's not very round. It, it's not quite the same size as the fucking hole in the wheel either. So. I wasn't sure about gluing something in there with the old lock shite. So I think that we're gonna fix it to the fucking, it's gonna be a, to the wheel spacer. So we're gonna have 25 mil press fit running through it, thereabouts. Don't have to be uh, too tight. It's not, it's only a cover, it's only a posh cover. But I've done a sketch, 55 mil diameter on the fat end, which will go in there, which will just sit in there without fucking catching out, hopefully, um, by eight mil. And then we're going to come out 20 mil more and down to 36. My pen's running out on my whiteboard. Whoever sent it me, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I can't remember your name right now. But thank you so much. It's been great. But I think the pen's fucking dying. I don't know if you can get new ones. I've got a big fat one in the office, but it's too thick for this. Um, and so on and so forth. So we need to find a bit of alley that, we, that is at least 55 mil diameter. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and get turning the fucking down. Right, oh, we found a chunk of fucking aluminum, 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 60 mil. Look at that, it's fucking lovely, isn't it? So, what I'm gonna do, I've got uh, the insert that I'm using is specifically designed for cutting aluminum. So, we'll see. I've used them before and not fell in love with them, but to be honest, Looking at how that's facing that up, it's fucking lovely. So, we'll get this faced up, and then uh, we'll start turning it down accordingly. Right, so, hold on, I'll bear with a minute. I just turned the blower off, I've got the heater on. So, I'm just gonna give this a clean up and check for size so I can set my read out. And, ooh, the light's fucking flickering. So, that puts lovely. It's a stringy fucking chip, but I'm only making a really light cut, so let's see what's what oh, it finishes. Fucking delicious. We've got 59.25, so let's set my digital readout. X is 59.25. Enter. And we want it to be 55 looking at my drawing. So Let's go 57 and then 55, eh? So we'll split a difference, 57.125. So we'll do it in two cuts. You could probably do it in one, but I don't know the tooling well enough to know whether that's a good thing. And we know the old thing's only 28 long, which ain't very fucking long at all. 30 mil we need. So 28 plus three for a cut off is uh, 31. So that coming up about now, just over there. Let's get that shit out of the way. And let's take this down to 55 on the money. 
Come on, bastard. There. Right. Sorry about the haunted light. Oh, that's done it. That's fixed it. Fucking hell. Come on. Work for me. No. We need to get in the contact box and have a look. It's a bit, a bit dodgy in there, like, to be fair. Um, not as dodgy as all this fucking bird's nest. Not proving up. So, I think that might be why I didn't fall in love with these bits. Because I don't know the feeding speeds to get optimum chip. There we go. So that's that at 31. Um, I might bore it out. And then look at shaping the outside of it. So we're going to go for that, we're going to go for boring it out, hold on, nudge that up, so nice and steady in with the pilot, how long the old thing, 31 we said didn't we with a parting blade, 28 plus 3, so hold on let me just switch out to my pilot drill, 10mm, just the old 10, um, and we'll wind that in till it touches and then one the back stop out to 10 mil. Right, so just had a phone call. This was phone call stopped recording. So we wind out till the uh, tail stop graduation is showing 10, and now we're winding until we see uh, 31. So 41 with a 10, which is nice and easy on this aluminum. aluminum, aluminum. It's uh, still worth, obviously, a double loop just to double out because we don't want the aluminum and aluminum uh, sticking to the end of the tool flash it call it bit of flash it on the tool we don't want that anyway where were we so nice and steady away 41 42 that'll do sort it all right now we're coming in with the big boy with a 24.5 which will take us nearly where we need to be, won't it? Within half a mil. Uh, fuck you know, it's causing some Shirley Temples, that is, ain't it? You gotta look, you gotta like that. Let's fucking get that out of the way. Clear that shit out of the way. Come back in. Ooh, steady on, Ralphie, steady on. Just take that up, the slice run out. Bit of a squealer, sorry about that. But we're almost there. So we'll just bury that like that. No dramas. Right. Now we're in with the pepper pepper pouring bar. I don't know why I'm stuttering. Ah, uh, pepper pepper porky pig. Yibba yibba. Now that's all, folks. Um, I think I've got a UTI, so I'm getting delirium. I'm just going to do a clean up. Just take a slight bit off and do a clean up like that, and then we'll have. Measure. I'm hoping that we're below 25 still, even with that tickle up line. So we are on 24.52, 24.68, 24 24.7. I'm getting it a squeeze. We'll call it 24, 24.68. Let me just go and get a space, so bear with Right, the spacer is 25 on the nose look, 24.96, 25, so we want that all to be 25, don't we? Let's fucking see what we can do. Well, let's have this in, take it out to 25, which is, come on, which is there. And send it. Uh, this should make that wheel space a bit just peachy. We can always make it a little bit bigger to allow for some lock tight, you know. Or we can uh, put a drug screw in if we we're really fucking bothered, I suppose, put it inside somewhere. In that, the flat bit that I've not made yet, so you don't know what I'm fucking talking about. So, here we go. That is to a depth of fucking more than we need. Let's have a look then. 
clear that shit out as much as we can. What's that like? Oh, it's a bit tight. It is a bit fucking tight. It's not 25, is it? What have we got? 24 point eight eight, 24.85, 24.9 I'm getting, 9.6, 24.94. Uh -huh. X is 24.94, enter. Give it a fucking skim then. Out to uh, 25 again, oops sorry, take two. And just crash it all into the fucking hole like I did. Because I was looking at the readout, talking and turning handles at the same fucking time, eh? Who says we can't multitask? So, we'll let this go all the way down to where it needs to go, and then we'll have another look. Right, out. <laughs> Quick blow out. Let's see where we're at. Oh, yeah, fucking hell, that'll do it. I bet that'll boom. If I fucking. If I block that off. <laughs> Ain't it? It's the little things. That'll do. So now we need to make this look prettier. We know we need a straight bit at that 55, about 8mm deep. Um, and then, I'm not sure, we need to shape it somehow. So let's see what we can do. I'm going with the fucking button. I am. I fucking am. Let's just fucking do a quick fucking clean up and see what size that gives us that's a lovely finish that is and we can set a read out uh, we also need to mark off eight because i've not done that like a dickhead mm. yeah it could be 10 it don't matter we've got 54.53 so x is 50 oh sorry 20 i put x is 54.53 Enter. And we want it down to about, about 30. So let's go fucking 50. Let's set two mil cut. Two mil depth of cut. Take it down to 50. See what that does. It should be absolutely fucking loot there. Peachhead. Near the fucking lathe slowing down. There's probably a bit deep there, Alfie. Plenty of ribbons going on. Oh, bastard. Alt ribbons, like that. So. We'll pull that about there. And then we're gonna go, we'll go 48 this time, because we don't want to fucking stall the machine. Yeah. There we go. That's a bit happier, ain't it? Nice and steady. Put that off if we can. And so on and so forth. You can join me again near the end. Alright folks. So we're on to the last cut. You can see we have a bit of a profile coming. Yeah. So we'll take this up to nearly there. Like that. Get rid of that. And then Got a little shape on that end. Put a little shape on that end. Break the edge like that. Now what we need to do is just break those fucking edges. Just nice and gentle. Work our way along. Yeah. Just touching that and then we'll give it a quick fucking polish up. We're just taking the tops off those fucking steps that we created. Just to smooth it out. Because I'm not very good at doing freehand fucking tapers and I don't want to set up the compound to do a fucking taper. So we're bluffing it out like that. Look at that. And then we're in with a red scotch bright give it all a nice finish yeah so this can of course be polished should you want to but I won't be doing that because we're not 
on the finishing. We don't do the beauty part of it on this job. Uh, so that just leaves us now, sorry about moving you around, to part it off at 28 from this end. So I'll get set up for that. Hello. Off we fucking go. So we'll just touch off. You're right in the way. Touch on there. You see zero. And we want 28 ish. Not 28 ish. We want 28. Hold on, bear with. Yeah, we want 28. <laughs> 28 plus the tool is 31. It should be. That's 31. We're on 31.125 because we're going to spin it around and face it up. And I like a quarter of a quarter of a mil to do that, which is 10 thou. And if the stars align, it should be golden. Right, so we had a bit of brief interlude then, speaking to Top Chollop. We fucking... Oh, look how shit that is, isn't it? Hold on, bear with. Right. Get a bit of the old trusty fucking WD on the job. I'll keep things up here. For a while. Oh, you missed it. I'm going to catch that. There you go. So, we'll get that out of the way. And we'll, we'll chuck this back up and we'll face this off and break that edge and then uh, give it a good degrease and look at fitting it up and lock tightening it on to the uh, wheel spacer. Right, oh, let's see how we get on with this aluminium specific tip. Not quite square, bear with. Will be once up, there we go. Just a light skim. Thank you, very glad. And now. Break that edge. Break that edge. And there we go. <laughs> skilly ball, skilly. <laughs> right, two things. If you've made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. Right. Thing number one. I'm not comfortable with this fit on there and lock tight. I'm not having it. So I have devised a cunning plan. I'm going to single point fucking nail it. So we're going to make it look splined. We're going to make it look splined. And then we're going to tap it on. Be a log tight, tap it on. And we want just a little bit more than that sticking out. So I'm not going to spline that end right up to there. I'm going to do a piece here. And then we're going to knock it on from this side so you won't see any evidence this side with a, a good wipe down and a bit of lock shite. And I think they'll be married and live happily ever after. The second thing, we fucking digital readouts back to up. It's proper died. It's fucking dead. I've checked the lead. The lead's good. There's power at the plug. Everything down there is fucking working. You see the lights on and this works in every hole and I've tried it in every hole and who uh, misses. There's no internal fuse as far as I know. <sighs> so there you go. I'm going to have to fucking get another. And I'll check it out and see about getting another or I'll have to run the fucking... I'll have to ride the dials for a while, which I don't really want to do. There you go. Winch over. Let's get on and get this single point done. Get this job wrapped right. up. Let's see what we can't do. We've slowed the old girl down a bit. Hey, oh, light's going to fucking haunt it. The haunted light bulb's off with the vibration. Yeah. So we only need it to mark it up a bit. We're just marring it up. You know, it's just a push way of Watting it with a fucking centre punch in several places, which is uh, another option. I'm not even sure that she's doing it. Let's have a look. Oh, it is, but it's too fine. Oh, no, no. It says too fine. It's not too fine. What's that done? Let's have a look. Give it a... Get the worst off. See if that's tightened or up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is fucking lost. That is... Oh. Got it stuck now. There we go. Job done. So we'll get that on. Happy days. I ended up pressing that. It was lovely and firm. I didn't film it because it's hardly exciting. But there we go. That will sit like that. 
and it misses everything in the wheel and it bottoms out before it bottoms out you know we've done the math we've done the math man so we've got that we've got <coughs> the two wheel spacers well that wheel spacer that wheel spacing out and we've got the posh nut on the end so i'm hoping we can build this back up now get the front wheel in and get it tightened up should be sorted a vast lovers are right so <clears throat> oh fuck off now that's me not you there we go look cheeky in there a little bit poking out nice and fucking super there look and this bad boy all tightened up so the wheel now sits bob on a little bit of bone in that disc lock and i'm going to put it down to this put it down to this i'll give take that off give it a right good clean up i can see i can't see anything actually maybe the disc is bowed maybe these mounts just need cleaning up because there's a bit of cacac under them but nothing's a mile out the wheel fits everything sits everything's fucking smooth everything's cool sorted so there you go another thrilling installment <laughs> It just leaves me as always to say, if you're watching, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Consider giving me a sub. Check out all the bumps in the description below and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah? Big love everyone. See you soon.